Um, okay, so we, did we get our syndications moving? Yeah. All right, rock and roll. Okay. We'll give you guys a couple more seconds. Anyone have any question, comments, anything? Yeah, you guys feeling it? Yeah, all right, I'm gonna give them a couple minutes. Um, so, so yeah, live streamers, just know you guys can get full access now. The live stream is gonna go off in about an hour, so I'm gonna dig in, really help you guys get as much as you can because the point of, of this, this sneak peek for you is letting you go, are they really for real? Do they actually know what the heck they're talking about? <laughs> and go figure, we've been doing this for quite some time, and I've been working online for over 10 years now, and have learned some skills that I've been able to bring into this world. And, and I really wasn't a marketer, so to speak. All I did is share my vision and my why consistently. And I use YouTube, I use, well, just now recently more Instagram. I just, it was before YouTube actually started when I got started in this industry. YouTube wasn't even around. But I was doing video and I was sharing my vision. And what happened, guys, when you share your vision and your why, people want to know what you're doing. So instead of being salesy, right, the Freedompreneur movement is about feeling good about what you're doing, building a legacy, and feeling great about it. Whether you have a small business at home or, or maybe you're just, you're actually looking to bring yourself into more social media presence, you got to connect to the heart and soul. So the first segment that we're going to do, guys, is really about discovering and digging deeply into your personal brand, who you really are to the world. And we talk about branding a lot. I'm extremely passionate about branding for a reason. Because unless you get that big rock, right, you know, we put the, the rocks in the bucket, unless you get the foundation set, put the big rocks in first, the little rocks are not going to even matter, right? You got to get the big ones in. You gotta really fill up that foundation strong. And I started teaching branding several years ago because what I realized is that I didn't know how to market at all. I never was a marketer. I didn't know how to run any ads. I mean, goodness, now we're doing Facebook. Facebook wasn't around. I didn't even know how to market it. I didn't, know how to, I didn't even know. I didn't know what leads were. I didn't know what an opt-in page was. I didn't know what a bridge page was. Right, so we're gonna go through those type of things that people know, especially in small businesses, you need to know that you just need simple sales funnels, right, an opt-in page, a bridge page, and a, a way to offer them something or a way for you to contact them. Small businesses, online marketers need this. So I didn't know any of it, but what I did know is I had a vision. And so I started to connect with my brand. And so this, this slide right here is really powerful because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the analogy like an oak tree, okay, an oak tree. At the bottom is really all of your values. All the roots are grown right here. We're really developing our brand. It's underneath. It's before we get into the marketing. It's before leads even start to get connected to you. It's your values. Like, so John, what, what are some values that you hold? Trust, loyalty, commitment, um, growth about everything. Growth, trust, loyalty, commitment. Well, who else? What are some values? Shout out some values that you guys have that you want to bring into your business. Family. Integrity. Integrity. Passion. Passion. Yes. Honesty. Love. Right? Who else? Travel. We all, a lot of us have travel in our bones. Doesn't mean you have to be a traveler, right? But we value that. Being connected, knowing you can really truly believe in what you have to offer. How many of you guys have worked in a job or sold a product that you have zero connection to? <laughs> right? Zero connection. Guys, I worked in a pharmaceutical company. I was a sales executive for a pharmaceutical company. No connection to that. I mean, I realized that I was just selling people closer to death almost 10 years in that industry, and I realized I, am, I can't do this anymore. I was just trying to sell to make money. Now, most people might think, well, that sounds ridiculous. We do sell to make money. See, but if you sell something that you love, it's a natural transaction and currency that you should receive money. So what we do in our method is really based on attraction marketing. We call it freedom marketing. It's really connecting with your values so that your customer really wants to be connected to you. So what you're selling is goodness, right? What you're selling is what people have to offer. So we're gonna create a method where you're not being salesy, where you're totally connecting, where people are like, man, I dig what you've got. 
Now, there's certain people out there that do cold traffic, and that's fine. That's just not the way we do it. Because I like to build a legacy where I can be proud of it, and where I want someone for years to come to know a video I shot they can follow and that they want to constantly follow me. So what I learned in the pharmaceutical industry is that I needed a way to stand out. So there's all these pharmaceutical reps, right, in the industry. You guys know pharmaceutical industry at all? There's a lot of pharmaceutical reps in the industry and they are coming in trying to get the, the attention of these doctors. And I don't look any much different than all the other hot chicks that were in, they chose for pharmaceutical reps. I'm calling myself a hot chick. I guess <laughs> You gotta love yourself, right? <laughs> and so I'm like, ah, oh. so I figured out something. How can I get my doctors to wanna buy from me? Anyone have an idea what I did? Shot a, shot a video, not yet. <laughs> Started doing that when I got into this industry. Okay, picture this. Does anyone know, you know there's those drugs that are called sexual dysfunction drugs? Or is it erectile dysfunction drugs? Know what they are? Who's, who knows the names of any of them? Come on, just do it. We all know what they're called. <laughs> Viagra. There's another one called Cialis. There's another one called Levitra. It's odd that I know that. So go picture, picture. Here I am walking into a doctor's office. There's all these old dudes that don't can't get a boner. <laughs> so here I come walking in to sell them all these other hot chicks. Maybe it changed that day. But all these other hot chicks been walking in trying to sell those other drugs. So I'm like, well, shit. They all pick hot chicks for a reason, right? Because they're trying to get these doctors to like them. It's, I know it's kind of sounds like an odd thing, but it's pretty much true. It's the industry. It's what they did. So I'm like, what can I do to make that guy want to buy my drug? Because quite frankly, those drugs are not much different. Now, I can't say because I've never taken them myself, but I know what the scientific uh, chemical compounds say, and they're really not that much different. So what makes them different? Well. If you guys know who Mike Ditka is, Mike Ditka, because my husband's from Chicago, Mike Ditka was our smokes guy. How kick-ass is that? Hey, doctor, I'm having an event. Um, and you're going to learn about Levitra. Would you like to come? Mike Ditka's going to be there. Oh, hell yeah, I'm coming. Right? <laughs> so we're like bribing these guys. right? We're doing things to get them to want to come to us and to use our medication. So I'm like, wow. So I get into this industry, and I'm like, stuff kind of works. I mean, I would walk into my doctor's office and it was the, uh, the open. What is it? What's the open? What are they called? The golfing? Oh, US Open. So guess what I did? I wore golf pants, a hat, walked in with my golf clubs. <laughs> hey, doctor, what? You want to talk about Levitra today? He's like, what the hell have you done, Rhonda? What? Get in here, girl. And all these other chicks got their bags, their lipsticks on, and I'm like, walking in with my golf outfit on. <laughs> Totally ridiculous. My husband Brian is probably cracking up right now because the amount of costumes and the stuff that I did was outrageous because I had to do something different. Everyone else was giving them pens, inviting them to lunches. I just did something completely wacky and different. Totally unique. So the reason why we start with branding, guess how many people are in social media? I don't know, how many are on Facebook, Nathan? 1.4 billion users on Facebook a month. How many are on Twitter, Mike? 400 million or something on Twitter, right? Active users on Twitter, come on, it's called timing. 300 million active users on Twitter. How many on Instagram per month? 400 million per month, did anyone add that up? That's like two billion something number. <laughs> That's a big ass number. So, how are all of you going to look different? So a lot of people like you, Emily, similar. How are you going to be different? You don't have to answer that yet. <laughs> Think about it. Like there's a freaking sea of people out there trying to compete for the same space. And you know what happens when you are just like everyone else? Guess how they choose you? Based on price. Most people will choose any product, service, or even a human being to work with, usually based on price. 
if there's no differentiation, or, they, or because you've got a good name, let's say, in our online world, right? That's it. Who the heck wants to be differentiated on a, a cheaper price, right? I want to be valued like, ooh, she can give me a better deal. That's, That's a true. cheap ass lead. That's true, though. It happens. I just thought about phone, shopping for phone cases on... Uh, Shopping for phone cases on eBay, you know, and I'll look for one, I don't know why, but you look for the one that's like you'd save one dollar, just because you feel good about saving one dollar, I'm just going to get the cheapest one, you know, they're all the same thing, but it's like, I'm going to save a couple of bucks here and there. You know? Exactly. But they do, you just naturally do it. Right, exactly. Yeah, you... So I, we value ourselves, right, we're here to value ourselves at the highest level. I don't want to be chosen by price. I don't want to be chosen the way my lipstick looks like, although I do love lipstick. I want to be chosen because I stood out and made such an impact in someone's existence that they're like, dang, I want to know her. My dad taught me this when I grew up, that any person that you go to meet, you make sure that they know who you are. So that when you leave, they're like, wow, man, that Rhonda, wow, she's intense. You know why? Because why walk around drudging around, right? Make an impact in somebody's life. Change their world. So if every one of us here, we said we have a why, we said we're here to do something, let's do something to be totally unique so we can change someone's world. It doesn't matter if you're selling shoes. Sexy shoes need sexy words and people that just share that destination of what it's going to look like when you wear those shoes, right? There are companies that know how to stand out. Big brands are using storytelling and they're totally unique. Although we've got Louis Vuittons, we've got the Gucci's, the product is the same. It's actually probably lower valued than it either the prices are, but what they do is they make you feel what it's going to be like to be with that, wear that, carry that bag, wear those shoes. So for us as online marketers, we've got to get that message to our customers different than anyone. But the coolest part is you're different, you are different, you are different. But every other online marketer, Says, let's make money. Let's do this. You want to hear freedom? It's the same freaking message. We're changing the message. It's going to be your message, Harrison, your brand. So what we do, guys, is we grow our values and our roots right here, right? We dig deeply into the roots, which are our values. Then as the trunk grows in your oak tree, it really becomes your story. Your story is what makes you unique. This week we had time to be with our VIPs and we really dug deeply into having them share what their story really was. So they can begin to identify my story, how I can connect with maybe one or two specific customers that I can tell my direct story to every single time. How many of you guys have been shooting in a barrel or all out wide thinking I can hit everyone, the women, the men, 30s, the 20s, all of them. When we do it like that, we're just, we're hoping that it's gonna happen. See, we're here to shoot a perfect arrow right in the, in the bullseye. And we do that by really sharing who we are. So then, of course, up here, this is what we're going to learn later today, is all that social media yummy stuff. That These experts, these guys are very humble. They've, they've been in the industry for a shorter period of time, a couple years. They are killing it. They're crushing it better than any other guru out there because they actually do it with heart and they do it with soul and they are very humble the way they do it, and they teach the right methods. We're not here to teach people to be snaky and slimy. We're here to really show you how to make it happen. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buzz through these really quickly, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have you guys do some interaction. You guys should have, how many of you guys had the branding cheat sheet that I gave you? Yeah, you have the branding cheat sheet? Okay, cool. Um, who, how many of you guys finished it? Did you guys feel, okay, would you guys feel good with like kind of doing some hands-on work, right? Okay, good, because what I want to do is what we do is we take your umbrella, we figure out what you've got, we identify who those targets are so you can start sharing your story and your message directly, and then these guys are going to show you how to get it out to the world. So I like to call it freedom or branded marketing, right? It's a push and a pull, right? The push is, yeah, look what I got, right? The pull is, hey, look what I got, right? Selling the destination, not the plane. I could give a rat's ass what kind of plane I'm in as long as it's safe, but man, when I get ready to go back to Bali, that's what I want to think about. So we sell the destination and not the plane. Am I in the, in the way of this ahead? Kind of in the direct line? All right, so um, push versus pull methods. It's a lot more expensive. Push method, method, it's unsolicited. You know, you're just sending people emails, solo ads, different things that they really don't ask for. So you have to hit a lot more, have a lot higher 
number of people to hit than you do if you were really doing the pool. It's a lot less expensive, it's content blogging, it's putting your, I call it online real estate, right? The more videos, the more posts you put, it's online real estate. But you're just grabbing people's attention. These guys are gonna show you how to use the pool method and really nail it, right? The methods and strategies to do that. Um, and it's, it's a lot higher converting. It's a lot higher converting because people already know who you are. It creates what we call no like, and trust in your audience, right? And it allows them to go, ooh, I want that, I like you. And so by the time that they come to whether your product or service or like for instance here in online marketing, we saw, call it a funnel, right? They kind of start from here and we get them to the point where they're clicking or they're buying something, but they already know, like, and trust you by the time they get to the bottom so that their decision making process is already easy to make, right? And then we entertain them, we inspire them. So we're gonna give you guys some strategies how to do that. So we talked about uniqueness, right? We define what our uniquenesses are first and how we can use our uniquenesses and bring them out to connecting with that specific one person. So what I like to do is we like to take one specific person, and typically that person is you, looks just like you. And you say, this is the things that I like, these are the things that I like to do, right? And that's how we're gonna connect with them. So we're gonna get you guys to be able to do this together um, in, in just a minute. So what I want you guys to do is, um, I want you to pull out your branding cheat sheet. All right, because we're gonna, we're gonna work together on, on this. Uh, what I like to do is have, um, Darvini, are you ready to come up here? Would you mind coming up and share with everyone? We had a really cool experience this week um, with our VIPs, and how old your hands up our, our 10 house VIPs. <laughs> they all stayed, we all broke bread together in the house. And we did a session, like a, literally a four hour session, so I know that it's really difficult for you guys to take all this in right now. But there will be an opportunity that we can work closer together because branding is ongoing, but it is your most important piece. So share what we did. We started talking about your story and what your core message really was, and you kind of felt scattered. I didn't know what my message was. I felt like I was Sybil because I had so many different interests. And um, I really, really needed to be here. And when I connected with Rhonda, I said, I really need to come to this workshop because this mastermind, um, because I've had so many experiences in my life and I can pull from so many things and I've got a lot of interests. I have so many things that I'm passionate about and that I love, but they go from one end of the spectrum to the other and I needed to focus. So I didn't really know who I was or how to start or where to go. I had no clue. So I was just kind of like shooting in the dark and I was putting up pictures and things that I didn't know really what I was doing. And Rhonda really helped me narrow it down, find out who I was, dig in deep to that, to the, into the tree that was up there and, um, and kind of find myself for, for marketing. And it was like all of a sudden now I have direction. I mean, I have complete direction where I didn't know where I was. And what she helped me do was figure out a 12 month plan. Yeah, we're gonna do the 12 month plan. How cool would that be? Yeah. Share a bit about, okay, so you came in. What, at any time now any of you are gonna be talking today, it's, you're gonna be sharing this is my brand, this is who I am. So I would say, hey, I'm a Rhonda Swan, unstoppable mama of the unstoppable family, take entrepreneurs and turn them into freedompreneurs, right? That's what I do, that's what I love to do. That's my core message, right? Freedom, fun, and family, that's our core. So everything that we do throughout our whole sales process, ad copy, lead capture page, bridge pages, videos, has freedom, fun, and family involved. You guys notice that? Do you know anything about our brand, unstoppable family? Everything that we do encompasses that. And how many of you guys right now feel like, ooh, I got a tight, I'm, I'm tight, I got a tight message. Everything that I do is encompassing that. Any of you guys yet? Some of you, some of you getting close. I know like Kim Joss says, yeah, Kim is really digging deep into that. But this is powerful stuff that has to happen. Because sometimes we throw up kitty cat videos, right, or, or shoes, and right? But, but if we're really doing it for purpose and for marketing, we've got to know who we are, we know what we stand for, and share it consistently. So that, now, so you started off with <laughs> okay. all these things. Right. She's got all these awesome designer, artists, traveler. Right. I'm very creative, so, and, and um, being an artist and creative, I was kind of like all over the map. So we found that I was helping people find their creative power, because that's really what you helped me find, mm -hmm. is go them to my creativity and how to help others find that as well. And what, now you're, so you're taking a personal brand. Right, right? so then we, just, we, we found that I was just going to brand myself as Darvini D, because I'm under an umbrella of so many different interests, and so many, so many things helping people find their creative power, so she helped me, but I'm branding Darvini D. Yes, and that really helps me, because um, 
even though I'm Darwiny, I didn't know what Darwiny D was going to do. <laughs> so, so now I know, and I have such focus with that that I'm just ready to like run, and really excited to run. Yeah, uh, you weren't running. No, I was. I was kind of. Like, I was running backwards. I was going backwards. So now awesome. I'm running forward. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, anyone that gets up and sits gets to sit in the sexy chase lounge, but Darvini started it. Okay. Anyone else want to come up here and and do some some live work with me? They have, that feels like they've got they've got it, but they're really kind of getting stuck. You want to come up? Come on. Come on. <laughs> awesome. Because I tell you what, guys, when we get through this piece. You know, we start with our story, we start identifying it. I can really help bring this stuff out. And all it is is a couple little things. It's clarity. And what happened for Darv, so she decided to go with a personal brand. A lot of, how many, has any of you guys ever get stuck with, I don't know who I am, like what the name is, the words? But like the Unstoppable Family, which just so you know, we start off as Swan Lifestyle. It was super vanilla. Didn't have a lot, didn't have a lot going on to it. But you know what, what, what came out of it is the story, was the reason, was the passion, was the fun, was the family. That's what Swan Lifestyle turned into. It was a super sucky brand name. So I got inspired to become the unstoppable family because I flew from Bali, which is really crazy. It was like six years ago. Flew from Bali to Cancun, met Cynthia Kersey, who's also our ambassador for our Unstoppable Foundation. We contribute 8% of everything that we do. We ave instead of tithing. They call it tithing, which is tens. We give 8% of everything that we do to the Unstoppable Foundation. But I met her, and she wrote the book Unstoppable Women. And it was a 90-day challenge to be an unstoppable woman. I realized, oh my gosh, this is our brand. And from there, it was like full steams ahead. So, so let's share... Share with me right now. What do you, what do you see as your as your brand now? Um, I see myself helping other women who okay. have been in um, domestic violence okay. situations, and helping them get free and be able to live the life that they have always dreamed of living or want to live, but they're in fear of it, mm -hmm. and getting out from where they are now and becoming free. Right. Becoming a freedom. So you're so there's one defined target. Every time we listen when someone speaks, we let's listen to what their story is, right? Where where it starts from. So is there something personal you have connected yes. to? Yes, I was in a domestic violence survivor. Okay, so she's got something connected, right? There's a passion, there's a reason, and a purpose why you want to help change these women's lives. Mm -hmm. So now there's a specific person, right? There's someone that you really can connect with, and and you know probably the pain points that they probably have, mm -hmm. and you can really share that. So when you're sharing your story whether we do it through video. Did you write your story out? I did. Cool, because when you have a story written out, that means you get to place an ad, because we like, we use story for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. Because it connects with people. You know, Nike sells tennis shoes. Oddly enough, they've got a really connected story for that tennis shoe. You have no idea that it's a tennis shoe that they're selling, but you connect with it. So you've got a connection. So tell me about that woman, what she's gone through. Tell me some things about her. What, what things has she, has she gone through? What is her age group? Um, could be 20 to 70. Okay, so you could um, have a broad spectrum. Yeah. But we, what we're talking about today is what is that group that really can be your buyer's audience? Right? I think um, for me, it's probably the older woman who maybe just got out or is trying to get out. I lived in a 27-year situation, wow. so I've been out 15 wow. of, of those years. Yeah, right? So. Awesome. So the... Connection is to even help those who got out try to find where they belong or find something to make a purpose in life for as well. Because when I got out, I was still floundering, not knowing what I really wanted mm. to do. It wasn't that I wasn't surviving, because I did. I had a good job and things like that. And my children were grown. So for me, it was just learning how to live alone, learning how to live by myself, be me, who find out who I was because yeah. I was married at a very young age so I really never knew who I was and it, and it took you know years of doing exploring of myself to really find out who that was so and that's a really defined message right if there's someone that's you know that Nathan's going to really show you how to how to dig deeply in and target because on Facebook it's amazing how you can actually find your peeps just you can Facebook let you find your tribe yeah you get to find your people Victoria like yours Right? I get to find my corporate women. I don't really target them as much anymore. Now it's more of that free woman, you know, mother, but still wants to make money and travel, right? right. But you've got a defined person. 
you can really find. You can you can find them in Facebook. So you know what are obviously there's some probably deep pain points that they've hit. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. you hit on the pain points that, that they may be experiencing, and then you have a solution for them. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So do you have have you started to identify kind of like what you want to be known for? Is your uniqueness to them? Is there a name, or are you going with a personal brand? I just my name. You're going I've been name. just using yeah. my name, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, what about a tagline? So have you kind of created your little miniature message? You guys did the, the, the branding. You kind of really want to brainstorm what are some taglines that really swing that connect with people. Probably under seven to ten words, right, is, is what you want to focus on because otherwise it turns into a miniature message. Um, do you have a, a tagline that you really start connecting with? I have not yet. So what you want to do is you want to go through and really brainstorm. So we're going we're to take a couple minutes right now so you guys can do that. I want you guys to kind of share with each other um, your branding cheat sheet. So we go through each steps, right? What makes me really unique? You know, what do we really want to be known for? And there's a lot of options you've got. Creating a tagline, defining that niche. And then, of course, we can start talking about logos and imaging. Most people think that a brand is a logo. It's nothing really to do with the logo or the color. That comes last. What it comes from is really where you're going to connect and how you're going to find that exact audience. Um, so, you, so right now you're focusing on this one, this one woman. Mm -hmm. Now, because you're now a personal brand, just as Darvini is, you probably have a lot more people that you can connect with and offer your service, your pro, your in your offer, right? Mm -hmm. We call it an offer, right? It's either a company, it's a it's a product, right? It's a service. So what are two other people that you can, you are so unique that you can define right them, your offer can connect to them? Other than that one woman, because that's just one niche. Right. Right? Do you have any other uniquenesses about yourself that you can target and sell your offer to them? Um, I've been How old are you? 61. 61. So you would be considered a baby boomer. Yes. And what are baby boomers, what's happening in baby boomers' lives right now? Scary, frightening, retirement. <laughs> retirement. Yeah. They're becoming redundant. Mm -hmm. IRAs are no Down more tubes. no more A's. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Three times since 2008, the 401Ks have crashed in the United States. Right. I know in Australia it's a big thing. People they're becoming redundant. They're losing this investment that they worked all their life for. Yeah. You have a massive target that we can offer the message of freedom. Your, your form of freedom. Because remember, that you can't, if we pigeonhole ourselves too tight, right, then we lose a huge broad spectrum of who we can also sell our products or service to, right? So what's really cool for you, you're similar to Dar, is later, right before we end here, I'm gonna give you guys your 12 month plan. So you've got two, two months, we call those months now. We'll call, we're taking our niches, we're calling them a month. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to allow us to focus on each month, a marketing plan every month. It's one niche. could be the same each month. We might create a different theme. So give me one more that you might have. So you're, you're a baby boomer. Do you like to travel? Do you, are you active? Do you yes. like to do sports? I love to travel. You like to travel, mm -hmm. right? So you've got a baby boomer that loves to travel who's a woman. Are you single? Yes. Single woman. A mother? Grandmother. Grandmother? See, dude, this is, so when, I, when we do this, Nathan's going, okay, drop down, <laughs> age group, gender, income level, interest. What kind of books do you read? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly, right? Because Facebook's taught us that. Right. So we get all of this down, and then everything that Nathan's going to share with you today is like, you're going to be able to go, oh, there's my month. Okay, let's see, I'm going to target this lady, this lady, this her age group, this is what she likes to do. Here's my message. It's my domestic violence woman. This month I'm going to target the baby who loves to travel, right? right. It's so freaking easy. And that's perfect. So yeah. step four, everything in there, you can write about everything in there. Yeah, so that's right. Awesome. Okay, hold on. I got something for you. Here, you hold this. If you have a question to ask me, I want to make sure I have this for you. So is there, is there something that you're leaving out that you're missing? Let to get our goodies. Anyone that takes... That's how it works. This is for you. From Bali, by the way. Um, all right, so is there something that you feel that's left out for you that you need to get more dialed in on that we can work with deeper? Yeah, putting it all together now and being able to, like you say, do 12 months of it and yeah. well, I'm and, show you how to do and, that. and making, because I've been blogging now for, okay. um, I guess, five months now consistently. Okay, great. And uh, I've started to target my blog, like especially this month, because this month is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, as well Perfect. as Breast Cancer Awareness That's right. Month. It is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So my blog this month was really targeted to that niche. 
and I kind of tied it together. Awesome. And that has helped too awesome. as well. And so. blogging is great, of course, if you're any business or service, you shouldn't right. be blogging. It's online real estate, you own it. It's like you bought that space, you learn how to get the keywords, it's part of that that space, and you own that. Right. And so what, what, what we're going to show you how to do is use those, though, use those and get actually targeted leads that are ready to buy what you have to offer. So we're going to we're gonna explore this. Um, you'll be able to explore this. You'll have time at this session when we close the, uh, the this session. You guys will have about 15 minutes to, to work on this and talk about it. But here you go. This is a gecko from Bali News. And it cost me 26,500 wow. rupiah. <laughs> and this is like where the, uh, I'm not going to say what it's worth. You guys can go Thank Google you. it. <laughs> yeah, your hand. That's not always easy to do. Yeah, do you want to talk to me? Okay, anyone else want to do a little bit? Yeah, come on, John. Any questions as this is coming up? So I want you guys to popcorn a hand up if there's times where you need to really get you know, some clarity in some areas because this is stuff everyone gets inside their head. But they, just talking about it gets it out, and you're like, yeah, oh, yeah. Because I, hey, did you even consider those two other, you're like, oh, here I have a brand, it's all focused on these women. Were you considering these other niches that you could target that are directly connected to you? Not yet. So now you, have, now you have two new people. Can you imagine just selling a thousand of your product service offer to a thousand of your people that are just like you? That's a lot of freaking money. That's a lot of sales. That's a lot of lives that we can connect with and change. Right? So, all right. So what's up? Okay. Do it. Well, I'd like to introduce you to two people. Uh, John Piotr, seven months ago, that's who I was. Something interesting happened along the way. Okay. I'm in the insurance business. Yeah, okay, everyone's going, ooh, okay. <laughs> but um, I'm very, very good at what I do, okay? And so good, I was recognized for just going way above and beyond. So here I am, you have to picture a huge corporate floor, 200 people, CEO walks downstairs, recognize me, they're outstanding this, blah, 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 blah. I got my own parking space for 30 days, okay? hands me a certificate, and I don't pay much attention to it. Everybody's clapping like crazy, and there's my name, J-O-R-N Piotr. So now I have a Facebook page called Jorn Free, because I figured if Nate can do this, I'm going to do this. Okay. So, world Nate, Jorn Free. So, welcome to Jorn Free. All right, right, here so, he is. Here's, <clears throat> so, the following day, I'm driving in. I'm stuck in four lanes of bumper to bumper traffic. <clears throat> I'm feeling stressed about getting into work. I've just been promoted, making more money, good money. Okay. My stomach's in nuts. I'm. Um, I'm not enjoying life at all, okay? So I decided that uh, that's when really Jorn Free was born because I'm not getting ahead. Today's my 66th birthday. What? Dude! So, so, yeah. so, and. Happy birthday! <laughs> we got you a present, we knew. So, so I'm, de I'm determined I'm determined to have the early retirement that I've always wanted. Yeah. And not so much for me. I'm married to the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> There's only two reasons why my wife married me. Number one, God answers prayers. Number two, she had to have the weakest moment of her life. Because <laughs> I definitely don't deserve her. She's a far better person than I am. So. I've decided that my niche is just, just like people like me, the guy sitting jammed in the four hour, or the four lanes of traffic. And most guys don't admit this to themselves because you're not supposed to be weak. You're not supposed to be afraid. You're not supposed to be terrified. But I was so terrified. Guys, you've, you've heard it all before, the 2.30 a.m. voice. How am I gonna afford that retirement? got so many bills now. How's this just not working out? And I said, that day in traffic, I said, 
I'm not lying to myself anymore. It's not working out. It can't work out. It probably was never going to work out, but that's the lie. That's the white truth, the white lie that you're taught growing up. Get a good job and uh, raise the kids and get over your head and credit card debt. Okay? So that day I decided that I'm going to get out of this. I can get out of this. Okay? I'm going to get out of this. So next year at this time, I'll probably be back at a week-long mastermind celebrating my 67th birthday and jacked up because Jordan's really free. So my niche is guys just like me, 30 to 50. 30 is when the, um, when the voices start. Less than 30 years old, probably haven't had a lot of life experience to really understand that, that what I'm trying to share is absolutely true. After 30, that door is knocking at 2.30 in the morning, okay? I can tell you. Yep. <laughs> the only thing I can tell all people like me going through that is embrace it. There's nothing there but smoke and mirrors. Your fear only needs one thing, and that's action and commitment, okay? So that's the person I'm reaching, 30 to 50 years old, still working, still making a good, uh, good income, but the only difference between me and that person is that they don't understand now that it's a dead end road. It's a no win situation, okay? And even if you have the money, you don't have the freedom. At the end of the day, freedom is what it's all about. And when you get to that point, and I so badly, one of my passions is I lead uh, uh, men and women. Believe me, I've met some kick-ass women who can use a chainsaw <laughs> uh, uh, around the country. And we cut people out of natural disasters like hurricanes and tornadoes, OK? And You don't know the value of your life until you've helped someone who just lost everything. And that's what we're doing for a whole bunch of people who don't understand that they've already lost. And all we have to do is speak a little wisdom, honestly, straight to the heart. Not to the wallet, straight to the heart. The light bulb will go on. Well, Happy birthday! We have to do a birthday celebration for Jordan Free. Did you guys just hear that? How powerful was it to get his story out? But did you see? And I know I don't want to take out the value of that story because it's it's it, it, it's powerful. But did you hear all the connected targets that he can focus on and the pain points that he's had? He touched on everything. So our story is so vital, and that's what turns us into connecting to that person. It is. It's sharing it from your heart and not into the pocketbook. That was powerful. You may have used that. Yeah. <laughs> right? You've got to think about that. All right, so anyone else have any popcorn stuff that's popping up for them? Because this is the time when scenes start, the light bulbs start to come off, and then we so we can start to connect it. Anyone else want to? Want to come up here and do some uh, do some work? Yeah, you want to come up? Because what's what we're going to do, guys? In, in just a moment, we're going to go through the twelve month plan. Um, Carolina is actually going to share it because we created this. It's really powerful, um, and you guys get to sneak on it. Uh, you get to get a piece of it, but it's um, it's a way that you guys are going to really organize this whole year. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so, so uh, start off with who you are, where right. you're from, and what's your what's your brand? Who are you? What's your what's your Fantastic question. Okay, but um, I, so my name is Cece Cecilia, and I am a oh thank you. Yeah. And you know whenever I do my periscopes and so forth, like I've been doing some of that, mm -hmm. okay. And I I um, start them by saying, well hi I'm Cece and I am a mother first, I'm a wife second, and all the other things that I am come after that, right? So I have this whole slew of things. So some of the things that I am, I'm, I'm a lawyer, you know, whatever, right? But I'm a lawyer. All right, we need and, a lawyer in the group. And, <laughs> I, you know, all it took is for me to hold my child when, after I gave birth to her, 
Within a minute, I knew that I was not going to do 80 hours, billable hours a week and give it to somebody else to make their dreams come true, right? Or to fatten up their wallets or whatever. Before I was a lawyer, I had become an, uh, a certified aromatherapist. So I'm a certified aromatherapist. I was a healer. She's and a big hat. And, She's got a, all these hats. Right? And, um, and I'm a Reiki master. And, I'm, and I did that before I even got my undergrad. Oh, yeah. Reiki, right? So, uh -huh. so I'm, I'm, very, I'm very crunchy. And, and, right? Granola girl. Yeah, granola. Very crunchy. And, and um, I, I wore my kids. You know, what child wearing, you know, children. So I wore all my children. I, I co-slept, all that, whatever. I read the books. My kids still it's okay. in my bed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Right? They're going to grow yeah. up. I'm not going to sleep with her forever. Right? Yeah, I'm not going to get these years back. Well, that's it. I'm not going to get these years back. I'm never going to get these years back. Yeah. And I blinked, and she's six, my oldest. And then I have a four-year-old, and then I have a two-year-old. Wow. And I put, and I want two more. <laughs> and I turned 40 uh, it, uh, December 30th. So I'll be 41 this year, right? So, so I've got all this, all this going on. Mm -hmm. And my avatar, avatar, is that what it's called? Yep, my, yep. my avatar? Yep. Avatar, target customer, whatever Target you customer. It, yep. You know, um, I, I, I really, whenever I've had people like, well, like you, for example, people like you mm -hmm. that had a career and had it going on and had that swag or, you know, that swag. Yeah, yeah. I still got it. I didn't yeah. have it. I still got well, it. Well, you know, I mean, I like, the, I like the swag. I like walking into a courtroom and, and make the men quiver. Oh, <laughs> shit, here she is, right? I like it, whatever, right? So, so I like the swag, but, you know, it's all put aside. I have a nice fallback option, but I want to be with my family, damn yeah. it. I yeah. want to be with my family. I want to love yeah. all my children. I don't want, I didn't, I never put her in daycare. And it was tough when I decided to not go, to not go into the courtroom anymore. Yeah. It was tough. And I'm, and I'm in debt because of student loans. Yep. How, uh, how many Americans that? here that are like up to here in student debt? It sucks. Yeah, it, sucks. it sucks. So that's another target. Yeah, that's right. Moms, 40-year-old four, moms to put their, well, 40-something-year-old moms to put their, their, their careers to the side to raise children, stay at home. Totally honorable. Get, I get it. It is the best job in the world. That's what my main target. Travelers. Uh, so I was talking to some people earlier today during, during breakfast about how I, my whole adult life, I worked for Delta Airlines. So I went around the world three times. And, and that was already before I was 21. And that was because that was my, my, you know, my career choice. Yeah. No, it wasn't a career choice. It was just the way I got through school. And I didn't have any undergraduate debt at all, but I, I, have, I have that yeah, law so school debt. Yeah. I'm in debt $200,000, and that's just for law school. That was, I paid out of pocket for my, for my, my, my uh, undergrad. You know how many people are just like that? That exact story. Yeah. Right? We're going to show you how to really structure your story properly so, so, it's, so it's sellable. Right? We're here to offer someone a, a reason like, wow, I, that's who I am, yeah. and now you've found a solution. Right? Whatever the solution, product, service, or offer is, you've now offered them a solution. Yeah, yeah. So you've got like three or four even. Yeah, career woman, career 40s, woman 40s, mother, 40s, stay at home. Right? Traveler, family, family travel. Oh, oh, oh travel. Uh -huh. I wanted to do like a like a like a like a little show thing, you know, traveling with your six year old, four year old, and two year old. I mean, that's an adventure right in and of itself. But oh, God, I got only one. It's an adventure. But people, people thought people like, oh, you're gonna travel with your children? Yeah. I go to the grocery store. And people were like, oh, we bow down to you. You got three kids by yourself. Like, really? <laughs> Really? No, there's got to be more like me out there. And then the well, student debt, yogis, natural organic, yeah, health care. You know, well, that. you know, and this is really cool. So when we, when she's, she broke these out beautifully because then what we did really deep stuff with these guys is we look at those targets and we ask ourselves, okay, you know, is that person the one that really is, is, is what I'm offering something that they, they will choose? Because yeah. a lot of times we brand ourselves, you start targeting groups that really – they don't want what you have to offer. So you waste a lot of time and energy with that group. So you want to really make sure and look at the way that your story is and how you're connecting to them. They're buyers, right? Yeah. And so how we do that is we look at you're a higher educated woman, right? So same with me. I was a corporate executive. I don't go for stay-at-home moms. I don't even know how to talk to stay-at-home moms. Nothing wrong with them. I just don't even know their language. I know corporate women that have kids in the shoulder who's got a handbag yeah. on this hand and heels in this yeah. one, right? Yeah. That's, I know that lady. But I don't know how to talk to, you know, other women that may already always be at home. Yeah, no, yeah, right? so I, yeah, yeah, I get that. So, yeah. so what we look at, we yeah. really identify who they are, and you can. And the cool part is on Facebook, you can target their income levels already, their income brackets, and that usually is a good way for us to to niche them a little tighter. But 
So dig, stay, stay with this group because it's a perfect. You have three perfect niches. Yeah. And our, your story can each your story can connect to each one. We're gonna show you how each one. I'm gonna do this right awesome. now. How each yeah. month. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well done. Hey, wait, did I give you a little thing? Hold on. Hold on. Cece. Thank you. Yay. Right, because so what we do, guys, is your story. You got a big, long, fat story, right? We use storytelling to market. And what we do is we take each chunk of this story, pull out one of those targets. And then you have three new stories because you're, you have your base, big, long, fat, th throw it up, get it out there story. But then you start to identify and take that segment of that story and then we focus it into an ad, right? a story style ad or Instagram like quotes, specific quotes that relate to those specific people. Quotes that reload on Twitter, right, to those specific people so you can share yourself. So what I want to do, guys, because what I love to do, it's called, I like to call it, it's called the, uh, your, your branded umbrella. Because what happens is once you guys start to identify yourself, this is kind of your branded umbrella. Once you really get your brand down, you, um, it, it really just, it takes who you are. Like, we're the unstoppable family, right? So as you're growing in your business, then you're going to, other things are going to start popping off from that, right? So you have your own personal products as you guys develop. Because not all of you guys are here just to sell one thing. You've got yourself. My, my mission for you is you start building a brand that you guys can create your products with. Who has their own product? Does it make you scared? Does it sound cool? Okay, so so Casey, what what are some things that you really love? Yeah, what are some things that you really love? Yeah. Her independence. Could you even give maybe an hour's worth of talk of how to help women see, to be independent? Can you imagine taking what you love to talk about and turn it into your own little digital product that you can either offer on the front end of an offer or it's just something that you sell that's yours or write an ebook that's something that you are connected to? We all have a product inside of us, but it, the only way you get there is by getting who you are and what your brand is. Because if you're selling a company, you're missing out on everything. You are, you're destroying everything that you're doing because let's say that company decides to shift their focus. Their products are different. We sell ourselves first, and then we offer to them. Let's say if it's a if it's a product if it's a product that you're that you're selling from another company, right? Where most all of us have a similar products we're selling, we're all in the same opportunity, right? But what if you have something different? What if they change? What if other things change? We want to stay brand ourselves so they buy from you first. So then, as you're building eBooks and different products, your umbrella it starts to jam up. You can create videos, value-based webinars, and training. Heck, I know you can help. You know, uh, John, guys, how to for plan for your retirement. That's a video series, that's a webinar series that you can offer and then you become the expert in that area. You record it and you offer it in the front end, it's something for free and then you say, hey, you wanna learn how to make money? I have an opportunity that, see what just happened? Took our brand, turn it out, take our specialty and our passions and turn it into our own personal products. So this is what, this is our mission for you guys. This is our, how, how our relationship is gonna continue so we can build on this. So you can create your future. Um, and then of course, then you have your company products underneath. All right, so let's do this 12 month plan. I wanna have Carolina come up. She's gonna share with you briefly because this is how we're gonna do this. Okay, so this is what's called your 12 month branded marketing plan. Now, it looks a little bit funky, but I tell you what. How many, do, what do you guys think of the branded marketing plan? Just this piece of paper changed their world two days ago. Changed their whole business. Because what we've done is we've, we've discovered what our true, that, what our story is, right? What, our, what is our brand? And we found all of those targets. We wrote our whole story out. We pulled each target niche out and we wrote another story. Now that sounds like a lot of work. If you've got five or six targets you can focus on. But what if we broke them up into a month? So what we've done is we've broken it up into each different month is going to either have a theme, a niche, or a target inside of them. They wrote out their whole year. How cool is that to know what each month is going to look like, what target I'm talking about, so that everything that you syndicate through a video, through a blog post, right? Facebook ad, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything that you do has this theme. So it keeps your mind really clear. Um, yeah. Hi, so, my name is Carolina. Um, and this is actually my, my plan. What is your, what was um, your brand? What did we come up to? Mm, Who are you being to the world? Well, I thought that I, w I was like all about yoga and just the yogi and sharing my yogi journey. But um, uh, actually I, I had to dig a little bit deeper to my, my own personal story and I realized that the, there is like more to that, um, story than just a yogic story. 
of course, I was uh, myself, um, I, I was aware of why, what I had gone through, but uh, how to tar target different kind of people in that would connect also with that story. Um, yeah, I'm a mom, I'm a yoga teacher, but I'm also a cancer survivor. So you found out that you had a new outlook on life. You were, she was given a month to live, to tell her family. Yeah, so basically we started the, all the treatments just to, to buy more time for my family to, to um, well, accept the fact that I'm, I'm going to die. So, but um, I had a little bit other plans. <laughs> I didn't have any time to lay down and and starting to the process of dying, so I just uh, thought that I would instead start to pick a little bit more positive things here and there, enjoying the life. Like I was uh, talking to Russian earlier, like things just like looking a snowflake and realize how freaking beautiful that one snowflake is. And that flower or that bird, how it how it sounds, and just er everything is just growing and getting so freaking beautiful. How little we appreciate everything that in our life. We are like so blinded from everything that what the society. I, excuse me, my my English is great. Uh, <laughs> You all, all probably know that Finnish people are not that great in, in English, so I'm really busting my ass off to, to, to keep on speaking to, to people in English. Um, so, would, would you mind sharing with them kind of how you're breaking up these months? Yeah, absolutely. Because once she discovered, you know, really what, how, what she can offer, you know, the story is powerful. So a lot of people that can relate, can connect, and now you are able to share what you've experienced and help change the way they look at their life. Yeah. So in order to, to do that, we broke down each area that she can really help target and connect either story to, a different niche market that she can really connect with. And we were, we're going to have you guys all do this. We're going to break in just a couple moments and um, allow you guys to kind of talk about that and, and really start maybe writing, writing down and sharing what those niches specific are so that you guys can write out your 12-month plan. I want to encourage you to really do it. Right, because once they got this, all of them were like, oh my gosh, I'm so, I know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so I have like three target people. Um, I have chosen to, to target people that are uh, having to stay at home because they are uh, themselves too sick to actually go to work. Or they have maybe uh, a kid that is, has some kind of illness that makes them to to not want to go to work or not able to go to work and not just be trusting the, the social services to, to give you the funds because it's, it's like so little money you get every month from the, those kind of um, services. So, so that's one my target area. And then it's like the yoga teachers, yogis who want to have more freedom to live by their passions and maybe even like uh, get started their own shala, not have to, to sell yourself to another studio and be working there for like a ridiculous uh, little amount of money. There's, there's like mm -hmm. no salary in that one, I can promise you that. Um, then it's uh, a little bit more like empowering uh, people to just realizing the precious moments in the life. Short. Yeah, just, just getting inspirational for, well, both men and women, but mo mostly women, to just take care of themselves and just uh, putting everything to every moment that you live. 
So that's like, I don't know really how to, to put it in words that, that yeah, less that target, target people, but. Um, no, but you've got it. Would, you, how, would, you, would, it, would it be helpful for you guys to be able to look at this later or keep this out so you can take a look? Um, because it's, it's really giving you clarity. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, though, guys, thank you for that, Carolina. Thank you. Give her a hand. It's amazing, right? Incredible. Thank you. Yeah, because um, I tell you what, this is, this is when we start to get this stuff, guys, everything now on traffic, now you're going to really be able to understand where this, how to target the traffic. Because, you know, so many times we're, you know, placing ads or trying to find, you know, who we're going to connect with. And we're like, you got all these people. So then you just add in a million keywords that just connect with everybody. But the ad doesn't ever really work, right? So Nathan's going to show you really how to, to target that. So thanks for holding tight. Nate, why don't you share them what you're going to, where you're going to move forward with. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll just let everybody go. Uh, you guys yep. Reply. Yep. Um, but just make sure you write down those three, like pick, let's pick three different customers, three target audiences that you've got, and think about the passions they have, the things they like. Uh, think about the books they read, right? The, the, the people they find influential to them, like who they watch. And I'm pretty much talking about yourself. So think about, you know, the travel side of me. You know, I like, I like everything to do with, I like a lot of surf-based things. So I like tropical islands, I like uh, places like Fiji and Cloud Break, and I, I'll follow a lot of surfers that travel around the world. You know, free surfers that don't surf competitions. I know this, because this is the people that I connect with. Um, on the entrepreneurial side, I really like Tim Ferriss, right? Um, and I like Gary Vaynerchuk, and things like that. And then, as, as part of the motivational side, I love Bob Proctor. So there's three different, there's three, di like, there's me in three different buckets. So if you guys can really write that out to get three defined customers and the interest that they like, then we can show you how to target that specific audience on Facebook. Because we can get so targeted on Facebook that we can uh, have you connect with these people. So when they're sitting there you know, on their way to work on their phones or, you know, or sitting in an office scrolling through Facebook and they see your ad, it talks directly to them because they go, oh my God, I love that person. You know, I connect with exactly that. I love surfing and cloud break. I, I follow that free surfer too, and he's inspiring, and, and that message really connects with me. You know, there's only going, you're going to connect with your specific audiences, and the tighter we can get, the better. And I'll show you how to do that next, uh, you know, on, as we go through. Yeah, in like 15 minutes. So we take yeah. a 15 minute break. What do you guys think so far? Yeah? Yeah? Awesome.